Welcome to Draw and Design. In this video, I am going to design a structural ramp. I will use the link AutoCAD file tool and then modify sub element tool to design this ramp. So let's get started. Here we have a plan drawing in AutoCAD showing all necessary elements then I have a section view that shows us how our ramp will go from level 1 to level 2. You can find these working files on my Patreon page. First link in the description. Let's jump to Revit and open up a structural template. We are in level 2. Let's open up level 1 and south elevation. Now go to insert tab and click on link get button. I am going to open the plan drawing and keep these changing in the bottom specially positioning auto origin to origin and then open this file. Now you can see the plan drawing is inserted into level 1. Now open the south elevation and link the section file but we must not change the positioning. At this point I must save the Revit file. Then I use the move tool to move my level datums to match with my drawing position. And use the align tool to match the distance as mentioned in the section drawing. Let's go to level 1 and open the 3D view to check if my drawings are correctly positioned with each other. Let's add grids in level 1. Click on the grid button and select the pick line option. Now click on existing grid. Now rename it as our CAD drawing. Now one by one click on all grid lines and Revit will automatically name them in the sequence. I quickly added some walls and columns in my drawing and then set plan section and 3D views on the screen using tile windows option. Let's go to structure tab, floor button and select structure floor. Let's use 6 inches thick concrete floor. I will not make a single floor Instead, I will make it in 5 pieces. I am going to select the rectangle tool and make first piece. And then click on the tick mark to close the floor tool. Then continue making the rest of the floor pieces. Now I am going to select one of the floors and click on modify sub elements. This will give me green tick points on four corners. Click on one of them and write the elevations as mentioned in section for each floor. Make sure starting elevation of next floor must be same as the ending elevation of the last floor which we modified. Keep an eye on 3D view and section view while editing.
While editing, Revit will show an error dialog box. You must ignore and keep on changing the elevations. Our ramp is completely ready and is an exact match with our CAD drawings. Later on you can hide the CAD drawing by right click and select hide in the view and select element. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit like if you do and if you have any suggestions you can write in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.